your daily hour with me. Yeah. Hey, everybody. It's the program. Once a day, every day, oh, we're on TV. Yeah, we are. Once a day, every day, we How turn on the machines. Every day. Every day. When? Once a day. Once a day. Every day, we turn on the machines, and we start talking for an hour. How long? For an, an hour. hour. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's... Uh, Tuesday? It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. And we're here, and Charlie's here. Hey, Charlie, come here. Go. There he is. Good boy. And we're on the couch again. Probably. And it's another day. Uh, in the world. In 2015, we're, we're, we've made it through all these years. Charlie, get out of there. Charlie's getting in, in his... Uh, well, f- for um, hey. the, the people on the couch, though, uh, this is the last few... 2014 days, but it's 2015 for the viewers. So, uh, majority of worlds. Charlie's gonna get shocked. It is 2015. Where's the peanuts? Charlie, get out of there! Oh God. Okay, we got to distract the dog. Uh, I'll leave that up. Is that working? I'll leave that up to you. Oh, he, he, he hit his head on the on the table. There you go. Now chill out, dog. Uh, how are how is your the last twenty four hours for you, Carl? You see anything on the streets there? Uh, it's not what I've seen on the streets. It's what I felt on the streets. Um, uh, what? Yeah. Uh, when I had this hat on, uh-huh. and I I was like, um, I had a belief that um, okay, if you just keep on walking through the cold, you won't. You, you, you'll just like you'll be fine and whatnot, and but um, it's so cold out there that it uh, was permeating through my hat. Oh! And I was just hey. like either getting some sort of ice cream headache or something, or I mean, you, you know, it's Are you it's eating pretty, ice cream. Well, uh, the, yeah, um, not. I wasn't eating ice cream at the time, but it was like so cold that you know it's like, um, man, I'm I'm glad to be going indoors into my apartment soon. Uh huh. Did did you did you put on an extra jacket? Because I know that you're not. You're well, many, like, you gotta get a I, big thicker jacket. You gotta get a thicker uh, jacket because if you're walking around in that little sweatshirt and undershirts, it's gonna be that way. Well, I have two sleeve, long sleeve. Yeah, um, but still, you need thermal. some. You can just tell that it's not thick. Whatever you're wearing, glitch. You see us glitch out there for a minute there. We're like, bah, 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 bah. glitch, glitch in. Uh, but it's cold outside for Carl because he's not wearing a jacket. I asked him, Jack, you want a jacket? No, I don't well, know why you're no, so adverse to wearing a jacket no, because that's you're wearing only level two. Jacket. See, I got what you're wearing. Well, here, the, and, like, yeah, two or but three levels down. okay, but that doesn't the, the jacket doesn't mean. Uh, what I was saying is that it comes through my hat. No, that's what you think. But if you had a jacket on, it wouldn't be doing <laughs> that. You uh, would be you would be totally warm if you had a jacket. N- well, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. It's not no. just you need to get a bigger hat. Well, uh, th- that's kind of somewhat what I was wondering, but um, uh, I'm... You, you believe that thing where they say like all your heat goes to your head because I think that's a legend, like an urban legend. It's just a saying. Ah, uh, well. You need to just get a, get a jacket. Obviously, you need a jacket. Otherwise, because what do they say? Like 80% through your head? That's the saying or something, isn't it? it d- well, it, it might be a saying or, or something. I don't know. It's but totally, I mean, it doesn't I'm, make any I'm sense. I'm willing to uh, tolerate uh, a little bit of Inconvenience or a lot, so, you know. So you don't have to wear a jacket. Is I that start so bad? notice. Yes. What, exactly. What, what's so wrong with what's so horrible about wearing a jacket? Well, it's not really that terrible, but you know, I mean, there's not everyone can afford jackets. So. Well, I, I'll buy you a jacket, Carl. You need a jacket because well, that's that's no. not supposed to be. 
your issue. You can afford a jacket. Jackets are cheap to free. You can get them if you want them. Well, sure, I guess. Maybe for some people, but... For all people. For you. Well, I'm going to get you a jacket. The, the, if you guys need a jacket well, out there and you can't get one, one call the show here. One necessarily fit all. We'll find you a jacket, Carl. Do you need help finding a jacket? Because you can get a jacket. It's not very hard to get one. Well, I'm I'm I I don't need help. I I got a closet full of clothing. Well, and then wear I don't, it. I don't. You won't wear be it. as no. cold. I will. I'm I'm fine with uh, four layers or you're not four fine and a half layers because you're saying you're too cold. So well, th- no, th- my head is saying that it's you know it's like. Um, cold, which I'm going to put on my hat again. Uh, yeah. But it, it's like, uh, I was like, um, um, just like walking, and it's like, uh, you know, w- when you're walking around, you generate body heat, but apparently uh, when it's like 21 degrees out there right now, yes, 21 is cold. Uh, it was like so cold that, you know, I had to like maybe run or, or something but with Charlie um, uh, running with Charlie sometimes is more tr- trouble than it's worth certainly after um, um, uh, my experience walking with Charlie yesterday I was like okay I, I'll have to figure out something different and so um, I uh, have like this long string lanyard on my keys and I was using uh, I was wearing my book bag and so I I like you know th- threaded um, it between the two loops uh-huh. and I attached uh, Charlie's leash to um, my uh, y- you know that link and um, he didn't he didn't bolt away and he stayed with me as I bent over to pick up his, you know, business. Not like last night. His paperwork. He, yeah, his paperwork. Uh, <laughs> I uh, um, bent over to pick up his paperwork last night, and he he dis- he disappeared on me, and it was like, oh man, WTF. Uh, but you got him back. Well, uh, yeah, I got him back, but more than the point. I didn't, you know, uh, unhook him until I was inside the house. Uh huh. Because then he bolted when he was on the porch or, or something. Son. He's like, he he's he's free to do what he wants, but uh, he can't necessarily run away from uh, who's trying to give him a walk and you know feeding him and whatnot. That's just not okay. Uh huh. I think no. But anyway. Why you, you're, he's uh, running away from the hand that feeds him. Yeah, well, at least he's not biting it. Well, yeah, not like yesterday. He was kind of biting Dan's hand a little bit. That was a little bit odd. But it was a little odd, Charlie. That's weird. Why are you doing weird things like that? You know, you're not supposed to put other people's hands in your mouth. That's a weird thing, and at least maybe a private thing, if anything at all. Charlie, don't have, do you have any modesty? Have any modesty, Charlie? So that's what you saw on the streets, not the cold, the cold thing. Yeah, it's what I felt, not necessarily what I saw. I mean, surely I I saw uh, the police, uh, uh, one of those um, uh, suburban, you know, like semi-pickup trucks uh, that the police have. He did a 180 um, at that um, that, uh, road that connects... um, uh, the bowling alley to uh, you know the upper part of of uh, uh, like Garfield Elementary you know the, the, just like it connects right past uh, Vic's uh, pizzeria uh, he just did a 180 and he didn't put on his lights or anything but I was just like whoa I did a, like a triple or quadruple uh, take to uh take a look at what the police officer was doing. I was kind of like, wow. Wow. He, he does a, a 180 just right at that, you know, uh, 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 pedestrian um, crossing thing. And, um, 
Oh, look at that. Up, up, dry. It's time for the dice game, Charlie. You, you want a number? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Do I you? think he wants a number. <laughs> what number you want, Charlie? Three? Yeah? Yeah, you want number three, Charlie? Okay, you can get it. Charlie gets a three. Me and Carl are going to visualize the future. Look at your hand. Try to visualize the number. It's written on your hand. I got my number. Charlie has his number. Carl, I think, has his number. And we're rolling the dice. Do 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 do. It's a three, Charlie. Team Charlie. You on Charlie's team today, Carl? Nope. Let's look at Charlie. He won. Charlie, you won. The dice game. You won. I guess he doesn't care. Charlie. <laughs> oh, are you? Oh, he's yawning. He doesn't care at all. Alright. Alright, Charlie. It's okay. You know, it's not that big of a deal because it's only 500 points out of the possible 3,000 points. So, it's really just a, a drop in the bucket. Is that what they say? Drop in the bucket? Drop in the ocean? Something like that. Drop in the bucket, is that a, th a saying? That is a saying. It is, okay. Not ocean, it's not the ocean. Well, it, it could it be somewhere. either or. Uh, but you're certainly not making it up. Drop in something. Uh, drop in something. Uh, here's a voicemail from George from Fish Breath. Here it goes. Loading. Loading. Message is loading. Dee 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 dee. Uh. Anything else? What do you what what's gonna what are you looking forward to in 2015, Carl? Carbon furniture. Uh. Well. Hello. 365 we are more days. Just watching you on our television. And we were wondering if you think 9-11 was an inside job or if, like, the scary PC guy had anything to do with me. <laughs> we're just watching you on our television. And we were wondering if you think 9-11 was an inside job or if, like, the scary PC guy had anything to do with me. I'm not sure what you said afterwards. <laughs> you were the Sasquatch. Let us know. Bye. I'm not really sure what 9-11 was an inside job means, because well, it, it was an inside job from terrorists or inside of the country. Uh, uh, well, well, some people, they can uh, see the plumes of, of demolition, what, whatever. Well, yeah, it's a, you, if you see demolition plumes, it's because there's explosions, and there's explosions there, too. The, the, some people say that the, a building can't... Uh, fall free fall uh, from being burning. There, there were building burning buildings before well, metal, it, and but it, it did though. Well, Your yes, it did. So, so what's the proof there? I mean, the proof is well, the pudding. Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. I'm going to press 1 for more options. Hey, it's the program. We're calling you back. I'm not sure what you mean by 9-11 was an inside job, but, you know, I, I have belief in the uh, country and everything, so you can call us back. I think that that's a, it's a tragedy and everything. Uh, it's a bad, bad time there. So I think you're, you're referring to some kind of conspiracy theories, and I don't subscribe. You can call us back. Ye I don't know, maybe cross subscribes. If you are satisfied with your message, press 1. To listen to your message, press 2. To erase a message review. I'm going to press 1 for more options. Hey, it's the program. We're calling you back. 
I'm not sure what you mean by 9 11 was an inside job, but, you know, I, I have belief in the uh, country and everything. His freedom. He falls back. I think that. Freedom in America. Tragedy and everything. Uh, it's bad. bad time it's bad. So, I think you're, you're referring to the kind of conspiracy theory. And I don't, I don't subscribe. subscribe. Um, back. I don't know, maybe if you are satisfied with your message, I'm, press I'm 1 satisfied. to listen to your message. Press 2 to send your message with normal delivery. Urgent delivery. Press 1 to send your message with urgent delivery. Press 2. Thank you. Your message has been sent. You're Goodbye. welcome, phone lady. Goodbye. Uh, and then we got a text message from Fish Breath, who say that they're excited to come on the program in the future here. So let's call them again. I guess we talked to them yesterday. It was George from Fish Breath. Fish, Brett, George. Let's see if he's going to answer. What are you going to do in 2015, Carl? Uh, more 365 days of living. Well, hopefully if that's if you don't die, I guess. Right. You plan not to die? To an automatic no. voice message you don't? You plan nine, maybe four, you're going to die, you nine. think? Oh! Hey, Fish Breath George, it's the program. You can call us back if you feel like it. But you don't have to. It's uh, I'm going to send you the de the details on the text message there, but uh, y'all are away, 440 y'all are away. Your other band can play stuff. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it'll be all good. So you can call us back. Goodbye. Uh, what was I saying? 2015. 2015. Dying. Oh yeah. So if you have a if you have a, a resolution, you know I don't like resolutions too much because I think you should spread out your goals over a long period of time or not have any goals at all. Cause I think. Are you looking at your breath? Sure. Is that what you're? Uh, I think goals are a little selfish. Go if you have a goal, then you're it's a little bit selfish to have a goal. But uh, what if you have a goal that includes everyone? Well, it's still selfish to have goals, even though if other people. Then you're including other people. What if in I'm your own including dogs and cats? Uh, and no, go parrots and amoebas with this goal that I have, and just like all of life, is that. I don't know what you're talking about now. Hopefully, that's not selfish. It's self. It's still. I mean, I'm just saying that the goal. If you, if you ever, uh, no, you know, I lost my train of thought. Well, if I'm not, you know, trying to have one life form of over another, and we're just, you know, having this. You're worried about goal. being selfish now. Yeah. With go with your goals. Well, yeah. If uh, what? selfishness could what? be a problem. Yeah. Look out for being selfish. With goals and New Year's <laughs> resolutions and stuff, but uh, if your new re New Year's resolution is don't die, oh. that's a good New Year's resolution because then um, if you uh, live through the year and the next year you can say, I did live through the year, and if you die, nobody's going to know about your failures or they're not going to be paying attention to that anyway because you're going to be dead and everybody's going to be like, oh, they're dead, and they're going to forget all about that New Year's resolution thing. So that's pretty much... Uh, a uh, foolproof one. I agree. Good. Foolproof. Foolproof New Year's resolution. Don't die. Here we go. Let's uh, call Freddy the producer. Let's see how the production end is going. You know, it was so cold that I, I couldn't even leave. I was outside for maybe about a minute or uh -huh. two minutes, and my teeth started chattering. Sounds like someone needs a jacket. Oh. Come on, man. For real, get your jacket out if you're sh if you're shivering when you're outside, because you could be outside in like super cold weather. People stand outside in Antarctica and stuff. They just got real hey, big. Hey, program. Hey, Freddie, how you doing? Just seeing Antarctica though. I'm doing okay. I'm up at the Danny Brothers doing some practice, but then the power went out up here in Seattle. So oh no, whoa. Kind of around. You have uh, candles. Well, I guess we're getting stuff done. We're taking care of planning and things. It's all lit by candlelight right now. Oh, hey, uh, it's uh, info Seven, time. We called you right at info time. Five, oh, cool. Four, Aren't we lucky? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, tw
Yes, we are lucky. Now it's info time. Here are answers to some frequently asked questions about the program. You're, what, you're experiencing it right now. It's called Your Daily Hour with me. It's a hyper life, our long, car long television talk show on the radio that's recorded in Thurston County every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, 366 out leap years. YHWM began on September 19th, 2010. It tapes a week in advance. So if you're watching this on TV, Channel 22 at 11.30 p.m. or listening on COA 106.5 Low Power FM. This episode taped the same weekday of the previous week if you're watching this at 2 a.m. This episode taped the same day of the month of the previous year. You can also watch any episode of the program on YouTube. Anyone can come on the program, especially you. We rely on the community for content, so give us a call at 360-836-4384. Leave a message. We'll call you back on the next episode. Thanks for tuning in, and now back to the program. Nice work. Hey, uh, you have candles out? Yeah, we got candles. What kind it's of candles? It's actually ca- brighter to with all these candles. We got so many candles, it's, you can pretty see pretty well. You need, yeah, they're, they're pretty, have enough light, and you can adjust. Oh, yeah, my eyes are probably adjusting. And it's nice light, too. Yeah. And you Real can, fire light. You could probably see better than ever, too, so maybe... Maybe your contacts, maybe you're getting some brightness levels in there, too. <laughs> or yeah, this is good. At least, like, you need less light to see some certain things, too. Uh, I can definitely think, see things clearer than I had before. I've been noticing that all day. Yeah. That's good. It's it's cold outside. Carl says it's cold, and I think he should get a jacket. But to, that's, a, <laughs> what else, that's what we're doing today, I think. Talking about the coldness and... Uh, Oh yeah, fish, fish breath. Did we talk to you yesterday? I believe we did. No. Yes. No. Wait, we did. We talked to fish breath yesterday or me yesterday? You. Mm, I don't know. About, yes. About fish breath though. We didn't talk about. We didn't talk about fish breath. I actually have news for the ninth too. Oh yeah. Yay! News. I just I just found out the name of that witch band. Oh, okay. It's called Witch Prayer. Witch Prayer. Oh, that that's fitting. Yeah, that's like they what? those those things go together. I think witches do sort of prayer kind of things. What prayer do yeah. you want to have today? Like a bubble, bubble, trial and trouble. <laughs> kind trouble. Of. Trouble with tribbles. Which prayer? Trouble. Player. Uh, so we're gonna and DJ uh, Corn Cob. Yeah, but he's not going by DJ Corn Cob. It's me to have some other thing. Um, like Anna, some something. It's like some sciencey sounding word. Oh, uh, he's going because cor- corn cob's a little goofy. Yeah, I'm glad it's not corn cob. So DJ, he has his own name. Yeah, he uh, Facebooked it to me, but I he sent me a message, but I can't remember. Some kind of robot you know, name. Corn cob. So yeah, so now I can make the flyer. He's at least DJ serious. Serious Strange Name DJ. He's a serious, he's got a serious strange name. DJ Serious Strange Name. Uh, and Witch Prayer. After yeah. the star system? That serious? No, serious like the opposite of silly. Right. Yeah. Not a goofy, not corn cob. Yeah, not like corn cob, like the opposite of corn cob. Serious. Uh, What'd you hear about from Fish Face there? First Breath, did they come in? Fi- um, Fish Breath are going to be there. On the sixth, and okay, we have the studio scheduled. So they're touring with a band, so there's going to be two bands, and I think that they could both set up at the same time, and then switch okay. off. Okay. And they could both be playing, um, and maybe we could get them to play the, at the, at once. We could just do have some fun with two bands at once, on, and we'll do the program, and then maybe some extra stuff too. Cool. Yeah, Sounds two, good to me. two bands at once. They could have a battle. Battle of the bands. Yeah, it's like a battle. I, I don't. I don't like those battle of the bands. This is like a really, like a more literal battle of the bands. Bands actually battling, not yeah. a battle of the bands. But yeah, and two bands in stuck in battle. Yeah, and they're at the same. T- they're there at the same time, but they're probably friends too. So maybe it's more of a. Uh, collaboration of the bands. 
maybe uh, maybe it's still a battle, but they're they're they've formed an alliance and they're now fighting against the whole rest of the world. It's like something. it's more like W like WWE battle, because they're you know they're um, they know that they're battling, and they're kind of helping each other out through the battle. Yeah, they uh, like wrestling. Ban wait, what? Like wrestling, Ooh. you know, in wrestling, like oh. like they're they're fighting each other, but like. They're kind of doing, like, you know, when they throw, they get thrown, they're kind of throwing. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of a performance. They're going throwing also. They're throwing themselves with, like, they're taking the throw and they're throwing themselves. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's what we want to see. You know, that's, that's better than real battle. Yeah, it's like extra W, it's like war, uh, professional wrestling. Mm-hmm. And we also got a call from some other person. How's the uh, production end going there? It's going good. I need to get Monday's episode. I wanted to call on this episode, but I'm up in Seattle, as I said. And uh, it doesn't seem like I'm going to make it back in time, even if I left now. So, um, But I do need to get uh, tapes because we've got this New Year's Eve thing, and the last time that Sunday is going to get scheduled is Friday, so I'm just trying to keep ahead, and I think I'm going to be gone this weekend now that uh, I found out that I have some car issues. I'm going to go over to Eastern Washington and work on them and stuff, so, um, uh -huh. but really, it's keeping up really well. We've got, we're on the radio, we're current on YouTube, and, um, you know, I got everything turned in so that we're at least good into the new year, so uh, you tomorrow. are definitely probably okay. watching this on PCTV channel 11 at 30, um, and it's in 2015, which is pretty exciting. We're, yeah, we're, we're in 2015 right now. A fish breath... Uh, oh, you mean 2016. Fish breath was earlier tonight, oh, actually, no. if you were around here. Um, I think tomorrow we're going to be doing the program early-ish, if you wanted to come on tomorrow. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, what what time early -ish? What, Like eleven? Can you do noon call? Sure. How about noon? Noon. Uh yeah, I should see if that's we should see if that's the time when um what's his name? The uh the jogging running let's paint T V guy does his show maybe oh, yeah. at noon. We should if it is we should try to call into his show. Yeah, look it look it up. Okay, I'll look it up. Or something. Great. Well, we'll see you tomorrow at noon. All right. See you tomorrow at noon. I'm going to drive back from Seattle now. All right. Okay. Good luck. Be safe on the road. All right. Uh, look, it's, look, look out for ice. Is it icy? I don't know. It's cold. Is it icy? You think it's icy? Well, it's 21 no, it's degrees. Icy. Well, I'm going to give it a try anyway. Well, they're, look they're out. Either, either way. Certainly be I'm wearing ice. contacts. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. You can see better than before. All right, thanks. Bye. Take All care. Right, thank you. Bye. There it goes. That was Freddie, the producer. It sounds like everything is going great. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. Well, that's all the phone calls that we had planned out for today. We called uh, Freddie. We, we still have more show to do. Yeah, we do. We still have like 35 40, minutes. 35 minutes. 35 yeah. minutes of the show. So what are we going to do next? Maybe we'll make some phone calls ourselves. We'll make some outgoing calls. Maybe we'll uh, call some McDonald's or some gas stations, some convenience stores. You never know. Maybe Mr. Ginsu will have VSP and call us before we call him. Yeah, maybe we'll call Mr. Ginsu. We could call uh, Dan Dobler. Yeah. Dan Dobler and Robin Webster. Let's call Dan Dobler. And we'll just say... Happy New Year's, Dan. Even though that was before. To say, hey, Dan, we want to say Happy New Year's to you. Uh, yeah. And then we'll call some McDonald's. Hello? Hey, Dan. Hi. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year. How are you? Uh, I'm okay, except for, except for my leg. Oh, did you get you get hurt or something? It hurts. Oh no! Did you did you did you do something or is it just in general? No, I I, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. It, it just hurts. 
Oh, that's too bad. Is it the cold? Sometimes when people get cold, they they say their joints ache or something. Halfway yeah. Maybe 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 you just gotta stay warm. Are you staying warm? Are you still my doctor? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Maybe I, I when you start asking or telling me you have pain, then I start saying doctor things. Hello? Yeah? Oh, hey, Dan, you want to pick a number? No. All right, well, here we go. We're going to roll the dice. Charlie's in the lead right now. He's got 500 points. Dan, did you have a good year? It's 2015 now. Two and four. Uh, I, I, I... Yeah? I, I had a good year. That's good. Uh, do you do you do resolutions? What? Do you do New Year's resolutions? No. Oh, that's good. Me neither. All right. Well, hey, thanks, Dan. Bye. Thanks for talking to us. Goodbye. Uh, I have a two. Do you have a four? Or do you have a one? I have a one. So me and Charles, we got 500 points. You have no points. Yay! I have no points. Isn't that awesome? Something you excel towards, probably, in the final round where I take it all with three ones. Probably oh yeah, oh, yeah, you could you could take it back. It's definitely a possibility still. Or the two ones, I could take it back with two ones. That's all you need. But it's still not all that likely. But who knows? Uh, doubles, doubles is not too far from reality. Reality, what is possibility? Here we go. Let's call it's McDonald's, Santa Cruz, California. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Say, hey, McDonald's, how you doing? This is the. Uh, this is a good part of the year, you know, all the holidays are over, all the things are, are done with. I guess the next holiday is Martin Luther King Day. That's going to be in a couple of weeks. But we're doing the cook-off. i got to get a different calendar. This one's small. What are we going to do for the year? Maybe we should try to think of some things that we're going to do for the year. I know that in January we're going to be doing the cook-off, but then maybe we could do the thing for the next one. It's going to be on a, on a six. Maybe well, we sh What do you think we should would do? I guess these are goals. I mean, we're getting selfish here. I, I don't have a whole lot of ideas, but McDonald's maybe... McDonald's Mission Street. Hi, McDonald's. You guys got those holiday pies still? I'm sorry, what? You guys still have the holiday pie? Uh, no, sir, we don't. Oh, Just the apple pie. Did you guys run out of them? Uh, yes, we did. Oh, do you know if you're going to be getting any more in? No, sir, not that I know of. But you never know. Uh, you, it's not like on, on, on a schedule or anything? Uh, not that I know of. It's just like whatever, hey, you, you, they send them to you and then you don't know about it? Yeah. Or somebody knows, you don't just don't know? Or do you think that... Okay, thank you. Here that we was nice. Yeah, that, that, that was pretty good. Or maybe not, but um, since Freddie's probably potentially going to be here tomorrow, um, he would kind of maybe he has more ideas than mine. I kind of have my brain flossed right now. I I kind of burned my mind before I got on the program. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seems so to happen. I don't have a whole lot of ideas. I don't have any ideas either, which is totally fine. We don't need ideas. Uh, like I was saying earlier, maybe goals are a little selfish, so we're not going to do the goals. Maybe we could do so. We could have goals. We're gonna be selfish with goals. You know, everything is selfish. You're gonna do a thing, maybe. But certainly, I'm gonna look towards Freddie to provide some ideas. Yeah, I don't know if and we're. Oh, you. Then I'm gonna be like, hey, that's cool. I, was, I like that idea. Uh, I don't know about that one because we are planning on looking to you for ideas. And ah, uh, well. What's what are we gonna do, Carl? It's it's all up to you this year. I I'm I'm hearing crickets. Uh-oh, what are the crickets telling you? 
well, the crickets are, are just like the dead silence that, that you know, like when well, a comedian the tells crickets, a like joke, and there's, you know, it's so silent that you can hear crickets. Mm -hmm. It's basically, you know, the Has, have you ever heard, joke had bombed. Have you ever actually heard crickets before? Like inside? I guess you can hear them outside. I've heard them before. Yeah. More frogs. I hear fro <laughs> Echo. 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 I end up hearing frogs, I think. I hear, you know, when you go outside and you hear the ponds, maybe crickets are more of like a Midwestern field thing. Because I hear f frogs, maybe, are there more crickets? Do other places have more crickets than we have around here? Because I don't see too many of them. Sure. Uh, we sure. would have more crickets probably elsewhere, but... Uh, well, well, you've been in the Midwest, you're, right? I don't remember, do, do, you, do you remember there being more crickets well, over there? Well, there are certainly fire, more fireflies out there. There in, well, what about in, crickets, uh, though? Midwest crickets. Are yeah, there are there more the crickets same? in the Midwest? Probably. Than, uh, here. Well, probably, but you were there from your memory. Well, I thank you for calling McDonald's. How may I help you? Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, it's it's a program. I'm pick, sorry. Hi. Right, what kind of uh, pies do you guys got right now? Strawberry and cream. Oh, strawberry and cream. I'm waiting for those. The, the, are, do you guys still have the holiday pie? We didn't get any this year. Oh no! Really? Is it too late? So it's not going to happen? It's not going to happen. Oh no! Yeah, I know. I'm pissed too. I like those. Well, what are we going to do? You think that the other stores have them, or did they just stop making them? Um, I don't know if they didn't do it in this year, or they did in bigger markets. Uh, maybe they I got to go to the city. To this location. I got to go to the city. Yeah. Oh. Well, maybe I, I got to call. You, you guys don't have like a like a map or something of, of where they are. No, try the internet. Oh yeah, just McDonald's dot com or something. Yeah. How's those? Whoa, that was another glitch. That's, is that two for today? I think we had two glitches in one day. But we lost our timering me mechanism. We had some tape issues with the rewinding and things. That's some things that happen in your tape issues. But now we don't know when in the program we are. Maybe you know because you were timing yourself. Or you know what time it is. You can just look at the clock. But we have lost the clock. We have to do this old timey style where we are just kind of guess. We're like, oh, we forgot how far were we into it. So I think we did. We played the second dice game though. And then we, we had another one. So I'm going to say that we're about... What, 35 minutes into the program, right? You mean 25. 25? Yeah, so I think we have another 25 minutes. So you want to... You could, you could yeah, 35 minutes. Let's do a timer. You want to do a timer? Can you do a timer on your thing there? Sure. Uh, so he here's the timer. So we're going to start the timer now. And so in five minutes, we're going to do the commercial. And then in 15 minutes, we're going to do the, uh, the other thing. And then we got to find the uh, end of the tape for the, for the ending. Or maybe we should... We could we could find the commercial. I'm gonna look. We're gonna look for the commercial on the tape here, and then uh, oh, so here we go. We're gonna find the find the uh, the commercial so that we can do it in five minutes. All right, that's why I said five minutes commercial. Uh, so Freddie tried to call us. That's the last thing we were doing. So let's call Freddie back again because he saw like a fire or something crazy. So. Oh, uh-oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Calling Freddy back now, but now he's driving, so it's a little bit dangerous. Hey, program. Hey, Freddie. We had some issues. I, d I forgot to rewind the recording tape. Uh, oh, so does that just mean how much is left? We're saying t about 25 minutes. So, let's see. Did it get the info time yet? 
No, we fi we figured it out a, a, a timing system. We're 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 guessing a little bit and using the timer. So. Well, I'm just trying to figure out whether or not. Um, oh, see, that's another reason that the clock would be helpful. Is then yeah. you can check the end of where you last, you know, and then see where the clock was and get it a little closer. Yeah. But that I'm just wondering if you guys, if, if I'm going to be repeating myself, if I should try to repeat myself. Oh no, we 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 went and checked. It, it it stopped working pretty much right before you called. So. Right before I called? The second time. So the, the fire the and stuff. Time? Oh, great, great, great. So I uh, I drove past the biggest car fire I've ever seen on the road. What, what? It was... Yeah? What? What kind of car it was, was it? Right. It, was, it's like a, it was like a small car, like maybe a hatchback. It looked almost a little sporty, though, you know, like kind of a uh, short car. I don't know. Maybe... It was not like it was maybe the same general shape as a small like Honda Civic type compact car type thing, but it was kind of longer and leaner. But I don't really know what it was. Maybe it had a spoiler on the back, you know, those kinds that had a little fin on the back or whatever. Wow! But, so, so it might have been uh, a two two seater vehicle. There was fire going up around like eight or nine feet high. Oh man! Was, like wow! Towers of flame pouring out from underneath it. And it, out of the windows and under the hood, like, it was, by the time I got to it, it was, like, con completely consumed with this plane. And I was driving, and then, you know, I was like, oh, kind of uh, not, you know, not paying too close. I mean, I was kind of paying some close attention, but then uh, there was a whole bunch of cars stopping in front of me, and I stopped. And I was like, whoa, what's everyone stopping for? Does this have something to do with the power outage that, I, that was happening earlier? Because what I was doing was I was looking up... Um, at Beacon Hill area in Seattle, trying to see what the lights, you know, how many, if I could see any lights. And at that point, all the street lights were still out. The street lights on the freeway were out, and I couldn't see any house lights up on the Beacon Hill. And then there was this, and then so I had to come to a quick stop, and there was an hour of flame pouring out of this a compact car down on the side of the road, and there was somebody. Uh, telling people in the far right lane they're using like flares or something like that to wave them into the other left lane, and uh, it was wild. Wow! I heard a, I heard a funny noise. It went boop boop boop. The fire was making noise. Oh no! I just heard uh, like a phone noise. Did you hear a phone noise? Oh no, no we we didn't. Oh, okay. But we're um, uh, re-engineering the background tape as we go along. Re-engineering. It's uh, uh, certainly a different program than one we're usually used to. I'm trying to find the commercial break. In, oh, I only have 30 seconds to find the commercial break on the tape. I don't think it's going to... Whoa. I don't think we're going to find it. What do you mean you're not going to find it? I mean, I don't think we're going to find it in time. Maybe we should stretch because we kind of guessed on the time. Maybe we should wait for the commercial break. Let's say when we find it, that's when we're going to do the commercial break. Oh, Okay. Because Is this, do you think this episode's gonna go a little long? Uh, well, it's maybe a little long, a little short. We don't really know. Oh, okay. So, um, so that's fine. Just gotta feel it out. Yeah. Uh, what? Wh keep wh moving through time. I wonder how a fire like that starts. Like, is it gas? I, maybe. I don't know. Because it, it wasn't coming. It wasn't coming. Like usually, I've seen. Oh, here it is. I've seen a couple. That was very close. No. It's not <laughs> Coming up on the next episode of the program. Your daily out with me. Whoa, hey everybody. Hello. It's uh your daily hour with me, promo commercial. We got Charlie on the couch there again. Look, Charlie stole Carl's spot on the couch. For the and producer. It's okay. <laughs> is you know how Australia is the flip season? Yeah. Find out today we're what do they call winter? Do they call it hot winter? Hot winter or cold spring? Cold summer? Hot winter or cold spring? 360 leave me alone. <laughs> like, you know, gasoline is very flammable, and all these cars yeah. are just driving around with. 10 gallons of gas, right? You, everybody's got 10 gallons of gas in their car. At least. Like, if you think that's, of... That's why I always... 
drive with almost no gas in my car. I always, I always keep it really, <laughs> like a couple gallons. You know, like you know, like a milk a milk g gallon. You know, you can visualize a milk gallon, and you got ten of those. Like whoa. If I just I mean, definitely milk gallons are way less stable than just regular gallon. But if I were to put ten gallon milk gallons of gasoline in, in the back of a car and start driving, I would be so scared. I know that's true. I never visualized it that way before. But if you have them in the containers. That's how much gas is there. That's so crazy. Yeah. And what if some of it spilled? It must be caught on fire. Oh uh, yeah, this is during tragedy. I always think, you know, if you during a tragedy, I, I like to say, this is something that could be happening all the time. You yeah. Know? And it's not, so we should be happy about that. But it's also like, oh, why isn't it happening all the time? I mean, I don't know. Where would you hear the news of this happening? You would have to see it. But I can see how it would happen frequently, all the time, kind of. But then not enough for you to actually see it. Because the time that we're on the road is, you know, for each human, pretty, you know, even you're only on one part of the road at any given time in any day. But I bet you there, that's happened, like, big car fires like that happen every single day somewhere in the world, at least. Yeah, I think that would like be... Like gas tank explodes. Yeah. That would definitely be something that somebody s would have seen on the streets if you asked them about it, though. Yeah, that's true. So probably all those people that we asked, they probably haven't seen too many car fires, at least recently. I guess that's all, yeah, that's very true. Ooh, it's, but that's... That's the thing that them they'd be happy about. You think they were okay? You think the people in the car fire, were, were they outside the car? Like, were there... I saw a couple people walking around that it could have been the owners of the car, or, you know, could have been... Uh, I don't know who was who was doing the flares thing because I didn't see any like medical vehicle or co or like cops <laughs> I saw cops coming down from the other side of the freeway like they're coming from the opposite direction wow. uh, shortly after that like two cop cars going as fast as they could down the uh, carpool lane the, the opposite side of traffic Yeah. but I didn't see any other kind of emergency vehicles around the scene uh, there were two parked cars, uh, like normal people cars, uh, down the road, just a little bit on the medium there, but uh, on the side of the road. But um, I don't know. I hope that they're okay. Really? Like, I mean, I can't believe, I have to believe the person with the flares, like waving people to the side, might have been in the car. I hope so. It didn't look like they had hit something, but I don't know what that means, whether they just spontaneously combusted or if there was something wrong with the inside of their vehicle or something. Oh, they're, they're driving around and their cars catch on fire. They, they, don't, need a, they don't need a flare. Well, they no, need, they, they probably flare? don't. Oh, oh, yeah. They don't need a flare, their car's on with fire. the vehicle is be, being so yeah. bright and whatnot. But, but maybe they, the, he was just being safety conscious. I think flares say, I have it under control a little bit. Yeah, uh, that seems to be, that to you're right. Although, I've heard you're supposed to have a flares in your car kit all the time, but, yeah, you know, actually, that makes me, the combining that with the imagery I have of uh, 10 milk gallons of gasoline in the back of the car, and having a flare around at all times is not such a good idea. Yeah. Uh, I, I think you're supposed to set a, a flare every 500 feet, and the, the flare is a warning that you're supposed to stay clear of what's coming up ahead like it's some sort of warning yeah um, yeah I, I there's kept expecting that thing to explode in my like in the rear mirror oh yeah you look at the, the car it's gonna <laughs> explode even more that is because it's just burning there was a I really thought it, I, I thought it was gonna just blow up and then I was I didn't get all the way over because I was in the far right lane and I got like one lane over and then I was like thinking about it as I was about to drive past it and I was thinking, wow, what if that thing just explodes right next to me, right yeah. where I'm driving? Oh, yeah. Ooh. There was but, also uh, uh, some sort of uh, um, a, a vehicle recall, I want to say, of pickup trucks. I don't know if it was the, Ford the or whatnot. The fire stone Yeah, when uh, someone uh, T-bones a certain older vehicle, um, the, the uh, uh, gas tank would puncture. Or something like that, and they had to recall the vehicles and redesign the gas tank to be outside 
uh, or inside some sort of metal frame so it wouldn't be like right next to the Ooh. like the vehicle's uh, fender. Yeah, look out. That's terrifying. Yeah. Then I guess if it's all if it's on that much fire like that, I have to assume that the gas tank is part of the reason why it's already doing that, which would mean that it's not going to be compressed and it's not going to explode. Like, at a certain point, if it's burning that big, there's not much else that's going to be able to, like, you know, burn in a condensed place where it would explode something, I think. Right? Yeah, it would have already exploded. Yeah. Yeah, um, wow, well, that's pretty freaky. All right. Hey, well, thanks, Freddie. Thanks for reporting. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm glad to have something to be on the streets, even though it's something bad. I really hope, you know, my heart goes out to uh, the people whose car that was. I hope everyone involved in that um, event is okay and that um, no one else gets affected by either yeah. the traffic caused by the event or maybe fire. So I hopefully everything was okay. I think, well, yeah, most of the street stuff is bad stuff. Like very rarely do you see something like awesome on the street. You're like, oh, you're like, oh, gr oh, good. Something that will change your day positively. You're like that. Look at that good thing. Yeah. Like I just saw a good thing. Oh, here's a. I see some flashing lights up ahead. Oh, probably another bad thing. Someone changing a car tire. Oh, okay. The cop turned the lights off. I better go. Program. Thanks. Okay. Talk to you soon. Uh, Take I'll care. See you at noon. All right. Bye. Bye. There it goes. I was uh, Freddie. So we did the commercial break. We we did the thing. Let's call. Uh, let's call Mr. Ginsu. Yeah. See the uh, metal pin. Silver Sharpie? No, yeah. I haven't seen. Probably oh, under Charlie. Boy. Oh, you're calling Mr. Ginsu to see who's going to answer. He's got one of those generic voicemail things anyway. The number Your call has, has been, been forwarded, forwarded to an automatic, automatic voice message. It's a la 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 Mr. Ginsu, it's the program. You can call us back. You have about 12 minutes. Sup, dog? Are you keeping warm? Dog? Woof, woof. Woof, woof. It's cold outside. Do dog. Uh, Catch you later, dog. Catch you later, dog. <laughs> hey, let's call some more McDonald's. This one's in Los Gastos, California. Mm. Los Gastos. I'm sure California wouldn't have this kind of weather. Or maybe they would in a really extreme situation. Hey, Northern California. What's up, dog? You doing good? Can I help you? Hey, uh, McDonald's? Huh? McDonald's? Yeah, how can I help you? Do you guys have those holiday pies yet? Which one? Holiday? No, we don't. Uh, I've been waiting for it. Do you know what I'm talking about, though? Yeah, but um, well, we don't have that. Do you know if you're going to be getting any in soon? No, no maybe in, in a week. In a week but from... I'm not sure what, when. Like, like choose next Tuesday or like anytime next week? Um, Monday, May. Maybe Monday. Do you guys, you guys have like a calendar that says when the food is... No, they're gonna send maybe uh, because they're gonna have uh, the library on Thursday. Uh huh. So they're gonna see you what happened, what is next. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. Charlie, it's time for the final dice game. You ready for this? Uh. Oh yeah, Carl has a one. Me and Charlie both have 500 points each. Here we go. Oh, one, four, six, two, three. So it looks like everybody is tied. That one wasn't a four before. It got moved.
Everybody's got 500 points. It's uh, it's a tie day. Do you wanna you wanna share, or you wanna battle? You wanna share? Carl says he wants to share. That's nice of you. Kurt, try. Uh, Charlie doesn't want to share. He took your spot. Oh, he seated for a minute there. And then he got back up. Maybe he doesn't want to share. It's all good. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Let's call Lisa. With Charlie here. Maybe Charlie can recognize her voice. Charlie, you ready? <laughs> oh, what? Actually, she's in Chicago. What time is it over there? We probably shouldn't be calling her because it's like the middle of the night. Well, I guess we can leave her a message at least. Why not? It's probably like 2 or 3 a.m. Uh, it, it'll be tw 12. Oh, 12, that's it? Oh, she, maybe she's awake now. It's not too late. You have reached the voicemail box of... Three, two, three, four, 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 California McDonald's It's a program for dogs. Woof 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 woof. Woof 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 woof. I think he's <laughs> Slightly amused. You getting excited about the dog program now, Charlie? It, uh, this McDonald's is not answering. It's just letting the phone ring. But it's getting pretty late there. Hopefully there's no... Hello? Ah! Oh, fax machine. Echo, oh. it's the internet. It's ah. the internet. Pain. This, this McDonald's is the internet. Audio, Audio. pain. Ah, this McDonald's is the internet. Screechy, screechy, screechy. Ah. No. Hey, that's that was a nice phone call there. Really awesome. Real good. Informative. I learned stuff. Thanks, McDonald's. They don't have any Hopia pies, but they're getting them in soon. Hopia is only in Hawaii. We're calling California. Oh, either or. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Some people say that McDonald's I can I have you? Hi, McDonald's. Do you guys have those holiday pies yet? And what? I'm waiting for the holiday pie. No, we have now. Oh, uh, you, you ran out? Mm, yes. Do you know if you're going to be getting any more in soon? No, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, wait. Uh, you guys don't have like a... We have only apple and a strawberry. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I gotta learn how to ask about those pies in Spanish. You speak any Spanish? Uh, um, de nada. Pies? <laughs> what does that mean? Thank you? Uh, uh, uh oh, uh, I was going for no. <laughs> uh, si. Uh, gracias. I guess I don't know what no gracias is. I think no, thank you. I think no is just no. I think it's the same word. Oh. Isn't it? See? No? No? Ne? See? No? I think it's no. I think it's just the same. Yep, he's overtaking my spot. Hello, McDonald's. Hey, McDonald's. Oh, wait, this is a. Uh, hello? Uh, hello, do you, do, you guys do you guys have the holiday pies? No, we don't. Yes, we have strawberry pie. Uh, do you know if you're gonna be getting them? Did I miss it? I can hear you. Hello. Oh, did I miss the pie? I have apple and a strawberry. Yeah. Did you guys do the holiday in the past and I missed it or what? 
What is it? This is it Rick? Hello? Hello. Yeah. Uh, what is I'll, it? D- Hello? Hello. Hi, it's it's Rick. Do you guys have... Are you guys going to get more of the holiday pie in, or did you guys already go through with it? I can hear you. Can you speak louder, please? Yes. Did you guys have the holiday pies yet, or did no, you... No, I don't. But I, yeah, did but did did I miss it, or are you gonna get more in? Like you ran out, or is it over? Hello. Yes, yes. Are you gonna have? You? The, I want to know if you guys are gonna get any more holiday pies in, or if it's done for the year. I think they hung up. Yep, they hung up. All right. Well, let's call the next one, I guess. Which is fine, because uh, uh, sometimes uh, the character of the program is uh, dr- drive through uh, a rup ending phone call. <laughs> it's true. He doesn't get hung up on and stuff like that. So. <laughs> well, like I can't hear you. I can't understand what? you. Hello? Hello? I'm Hello? gonna hang you up. <laughs> and then they do. Because the I'm cranky, maybe. That's the phone call we just had. Charlie is uh, having a whole lot of seat problems right now. <laughs> Charlie, what are you doing? He's, he's spinning in circles. Dogs do that before they get comfy, though. He's trying to get comfy. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Dogs used to live um, in grassland like uh, 10,000 years ago, whenever we started... Um, um, getting them domesticated, and and they uh, keep on um, doing the circular thing as a habit from their um, genetic heritage. You know, to uh, uh, make make a circular pattern in the grass, the tall grass. Hey, look! It's the end of the program. We made it through another episode of the program without losing consciousness or dying. Charlie came close, though. Well, we came close, though. We had a couple of glitches. Oh, yeah, that, too. That was scary. I was a little bit freaked, but we made it back. I was at the edge of my seat the whole time that the glitches were happening. Thanks, McDonald's. Thanks, Freddy. Thanks, uh, Fish Breath and that one caller. Car, car fires? Car fires. This person well, who said they were watching the show. N- maybe not so much car fires. Hello? This person... We are just watching you on our television. Oh, yeah. That person, thanks for watching us on your television. Conspiracy theories. Here it is. He doesn't subscribe to those. Don't subscribe. Conspiracy Theory Magazine. (laughs) Why did WM episode number and date and day of the week? Check it out. TCTV. Yeah, 11.32 a.m. on TCT Channel 22. Why did There you go. Three six zero eight six six eight three eight two zero eight dog dog three six zero eight three six four three four Jenny Caitlin Lizzie Horse Maggie Travis Zach Zayzay FBI TCTV Thank you Crystal Ball LaBaby.com Jordan E Fabulous Thurston County Washington State USA Thank you viewers and listeners that's you you're watching Thank you for listening Hell yeah dog Woof woof. He knows it. Bye.